Hi and welcome to Temperature Conversion developed using Visual Studio 2017. This temperature conversion is very very similar to that of Windows 10. That is why I'm actually working on it because the pattern of that of Windows 10 is now is now totally different from the previous temperature conversion. And this is how the window 10 temperature conversion now looks like. You can always have a look and see what I'm talking about. So let me show you guys how it all works anyway. This is it. Just you have your buttons there. All you just need to do is to select the numbers you intend to convert. And that is it. And the other interesting findings with this Windows 10 temperature conversion that we have within the calculator is you can select let's say we have Fahrenheit and Fahrenheit here I want you guys to notice what's going to happen here there okay which is very very interesting and you can even convert it let's say we have Celsius and Celsius here there we go right that is one very interesting thing I, i'm very pleased with so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take you guys straight into visual basic.net development environment and we we'll put one of these together so let's do that now guys and welcome to visual basic.net 2017 i'm going to start by clicking on create new project now that my dialog box is ready, I'm going to start by giving that a name. Let's call it temperature, VB temperature convert, maybe converter. Right, that's the name I'm going to call the project. The whole idea is to simulate the temperature converter within the Windows 10 calculator. I've actually done a standard calculator that I'm expecting 30,000 views to combine all of these projects together. So let's see. So what we're going to just play around with now is going to be the temperature converter itself. Okay, now that our form is ready, the first thing I'd like to do is I'm going to change the color, the back color to my own let's say we go for in active active border there we go that's the color i intend to use the next thing is i'm going to come down here let's see let's change it to alphabetic order all right the text let's come to the text and the one the one in Windows 10, I mean, you will actually see something like that that says calculator. And let me change the size. I'm going to go for 907 by 646. There. Now, the next thing is start position. Let me get our center, center screen. Right. And I think that will be all. Now, let's start by adding the following. The first will be buttons. Double click on my button and this button. I'm going to make the size of that very button. Let's change it to 116 by, we go for 80. Right. No, no, no. That's supposed to be size. Where's size? There we go. Paste that in there. So that's the size of my button. Now I'm going to change the color to exactly the same color in active. Just get it selected. Come to the back color here. Make sure it is in active border. Press enter. Now the next thing is let's come into where we have standard flat style. I'm going to make that flat. So I'll just leave it like that. And 
hold down the control copy we need to up here yeah and uh, now that my buttons are ready let me change the data on each or add some data to each of these buttons that will be seven that'll be eight so let's just speed that up anyway right there that's how my buttons are looking now so let's move it a bit in okay that's fine so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to add to combo box right there double click have my combo box I think it's going to be up there one and two then I also need a label I need one here another one here one up here one down here and I need two here one two below okay so let's enhance the appearance of all of these components right that's how the whole component looks like right now okay I have my combo box there labels 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 and all of these are all labels so let's start by double clicking on oh no let's select all of these one two and I'm gonna give them a, a name so I will call them let's come to event and select click event I'm gonna call them numbers underscore only right that's the name of the event I intend to use there okay right inside numbers underscore only I'm going to declare the following as an object right there and let's use a center to pass any of the information around okay but before I continue I'm going to declare some variables here let's say dim I Celsius I Fahrenheit comma I Kelvin as double now let's declare another one dim found expression as boolean let's say boolean is equals force now let's have a look at okay we might as well just just two for now let's continue with this buttons here that I've selected name I'll say numbers only I've already created an object in there so the first thing I would like to do is for any of those buttons once it's selected I want them to actually tell us whatever is selected so I'm gonna say if LBL temp dot text equals zero or found the expression then I'll be L term equals nothing and L be L terms dot text Let's just say and if here lbl terms let's copy that the text equals b which is the object of there equals that else if b dot text equals 
that and that is to do with my decimal place okay let's find out if not lbl term dot text dot contains decimal decimal point then lbl temp dot text equals lbl temp dot text plus b dot text so which means if this let's end that in order that is ended already if there's a decimal point in there already you should just ignore it that's all i'm saying in there now we say else i would like lbl text lbl tends to continue as follows add whatever data plus the text plus b dot temp right so if you have a good look at these lines of code all i've just say is add any of these okay let's i'm running it so that you guys see what i've just done so far let's find out what is the error about all right that's the error right there we just need a bracket there okay let's try it again one more time right so if i click on any of these you see what is happening guys that is what i want okay we cannot use the decimal place more than once so that is fine okay now that we've done that i will now add the function or well, yeah the function to take care of the temperature conversion right there okay let's just comment that out so that i know have a good look at it i already have a tutorial of this on youtube okay but let me see yeah but the thing is it's not going to do anything yet okay because i need to add some values in here let's say cmb temp dot add no dot items dot add let's say we add in Celsius that's the first one and we are going to add let's copy that and we add as follows for the rest okay we have that of the first combo box and the second combo box so if I run it now let's see that is what we have in there and let's say this is what we have in there we select whatever number you see that okay but if we clear which is not doing anything now and this one is not doing anything you see that guys is working the way I want but it's not finished yet okay but have a good look at the lines of code first this is the form load and in here these are the events that I've used so far on the events the codes are generated numbers that are used to enter the numbers and this is the calculation that you just saw but that's not over yet one thing I like to do is I'm going to declare a function let's declare a function right here it's going to be a couple of lines of codes so I'm going to sort of like come right down here and just speed that up there we go 
that's the function that I've just declared okay so have a good look at this very function and this same function I'm going to call it inside my number click events right in here let's paste that in here right I've just called that function so if you notice these two variable q and p that we declare that all that we use within the function have now declared it up there okay so look at that very function properly because you're going to need it if you want your system to work right all right now let's go to form load and complete that right here underneath the combo box we have as follows so what we happen here what we happen here is this will actually give us the default value on those list box so when I run it now we have our default value but supposing let me delete these lines of codes and run it again let's see what's going to happen see there's nothing in there okay so I'll do that so have a good look at it one this one shows the value that will be right inside the combo box so we might as well just put them right on top that is for the first one and this is for the second one right and in here what I've just done in here is whatever is inside the label this very label up here is stored right in here and it, we then use it to convert to Celsius that's what we've just done in here okay so if the first combo box is Fahrenheit and the second combo box is this and I want LBL different text which is this one here this very one okay let's open the properties so that you can see it that's it right there look at the name I want it to show me the difference or the conversion rate in Kelvin All right and then we just convert it to two decimal place that's that's what we've just done here so if I run it now there we go until it's changed okay you can see this one all over the place and that's not good enough so we're gonna take care of that too all right now let's come into numbers only right inside numbers only here we need to let me just copy this very one just convert that instead of all those numbers that are everywhere okay let me show it to you again you see that I will now convert it all inside here numbers only right underneath here paste that which means truncate it to or round it up to two decimal place or two decimal places that's all I've just done there so let's try it now you see that now guys okay that's good but this is not working that's not working yet so let's take care of one two and three all right so we start with the bar uh, with the clear force so with the clear when i click on the clear button this will become zero and that is it that changed to zero and this round it up to two decimal place 
and we also call the function term if this very function here which is the temperature function is called right away so that will take care of the calculation okay that will convert whatever is in there for me and right here all of these will default back to this if the Fahrenheit is zero then the Celsius will be this and the Kevin will be that that's all there is to it okay we just want the form to validate that's all so if I run it now uh, we select whatever in there click on this there that's all there is to it look at it alright so we only have one two to look after now so now let's double click on the backspace that is the backspace there right so which means when I run it enter whatever volume there we can always click on backspace but as you can see this did this has not changed to anything so to do to take care of that I can just copy this inside the clear copy that and enter that inside the backspace right okay that's taken care of so if I run it now you see that so that is fine but supposing we have some value in here and every time I click I want it to continue changing the value for me you see that is not happening okay that's not good enough if you look inside out of windows you will see the value changing okay so to take care of that I'm going to copy this here right in here I'm going to copy all of this and let me copy this as well copy everything in there and double click on the backspace let's see if we paste it in here okay this is the temperature converter conversion formula and the other formula I have that inside my function okay let's run it and see what's going to happen all right you see that guys now it's working how it's supposed to work the next thing is let's take care of this the plus minus so let's end the process let's go to the form and double click on the plus minus right here we enter as follows those are the lines of code for plus minus so what that means is if you have any number there and you click on the plus minus the minus will be added right at the front of the number so let's try it out okay if I select any number I can just select plus minus okay so let's see that again so if any number we have plus minus but we can we also would like the plus minus to carry out some calculation you can see what happened here so to do that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here I'm gonna copy all of this this very one okay let's copy it from I'm actually copying it from the space you can also copy it from every from the numbers only I have it somewhere yeah there it is so I'm gonna copy it from here down here so it is the same temperature convert uh, conversion or converter codes anyway so I'm just pasting that in there maybe we should have even put that in a function and just call the function that's that's okay anyway 
so paste that in here right underneath here take it down right so let's run it again 45 plus minus that is fine and let's say we change it to Fahrenheit Kevin Celsius okay so the other thing I want to do now is I'm going to add just like that of the just like that of the what what uh, windows 10 I'm going to add a tree view let's come right here so that we can select any of those any menu you want which I've already done inside inside the standard calculator that is on YouTube already so make sure you uh, you enter tree view the object tree view and come to the nodes right here and we, ju we just need to change as follows add nodes node 1 Node one will always be calculator, and that does nothing really. And node number two, which is this, will be ignored. Node three, that's zero one, so that will be node two really. It was standard, and so on then we can always delete node 1 just to create a space in between okay, I will now speed that up and right there this is how it all looks now okay so the first thing I like to do is I want to double click on the form itself and just make it invisible so let's say 3 view Preview one dot visible equals false. Right. Okay, I'm gonna copy that. Then come right in here. You see this icon. Double click on the icon. The click event of the icon. Paste that in there. Equals true. Right. There. So when I run it, you will not see the tree view because form load makes it invisible until you click on this there we go it's visible but it's not in the right position I'll put it let's place it in the right position let's move it here right there so we'll run it again there when we click on it we expect it to change the values so to do that double click on tree view itself and we enter if e dot node dot name equals let's say node zero I think is uppercase node Okay. then we want this what is the name of this very one we want it to change as title right and title dot text equals standard close that right so we have to do that for the rest so if I run it let's run that to see what I'm talking about oh there's one more thing I should have done because when I click on it I expect it to become invisible so let me copy this click and become invisible that visible okay we can put that underneath here it was false right 
let's try that out select there you see that so I'm going to speed that up for the race menu okay you see it's a lot of menu and it's the same lines of codes so the next one is going to be this scientific so we copy that just come right down here you can say else if if it's node number five node five then this becomes scientific right so let's run that select a node select another node you get that so let me speed that up for you guys and there we go guys you see this is how the tree view lines of codes look like so like I said in my standard calculator tutorial if I get 30,000 views and 1,000 like then I will officially develop all of the Windows 10 new calculator this is one part of it so with that guys I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial I suppose you all enjoy it and thanks for watching you have a nice day now and please subscribe and like Bye for now.